Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 21st, uh, this week or 22nd, whatever it is. Uh, I, I haven't known what week we're in for all the fire signs, so I apologize, Sagittarius, but uh, welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius, this week. And already, it looks like an awesome week. Um, pretty much all fire signs had a pretty positive week this week, so I definitely like to see that. You have uh, justice coming up in your first row, which is nice. I definitely feel like there have been issues of justice for you, Sagittarius. I mean, this has come up almost like every single week. So I do feel like some of you could be dealing with legal matters or um, really um, what I feel like looking at your astrology, Sagittarius, I feel like the problem uh, could be other people. Uh, so you could be dealing with difficult people. This could be in love, business, um, health, could be you know any area of your life. Uh, you come up in this first position, you have the take a time out card here. This is the bear, brown bear spirit. So I do feel like it would be a good time for you to take a break. I feel like some of you are just getting a break here in this first row. I also think that it's interesting that you have the time for a nap card. So I feel like it's time for some of you to take a break or it's like this is like a well-deserved break coming in for you. In this first row, you have the Justice card, the Strength card, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like for some of you, you have been very patient. I feel like you've been very like waiting for justice for a very long period of time. I feel like you're finally kind of like stepping out of the, you know, out of the woods or, you know, you're, you're like stepping into a clearing here with this Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands can sometimes represent like conviction. It can represent your beliefs and the things that you believe in your life, but it can also represent kind of like needing to defend yourself or needing to defend a position. I feel like you're finally getting a break from needing to do that. So again, we're gonna talk about this middle row and more in a minute, but in this first row, I definitely like this. Definitely could be justice coming in for you here. I feel like you've, like I said, been very patient with that strength card. The Eight of Swords is a card of self-imposed restriction. It's a card of keeping yourself trapped in prison. Um, but this bottom row is so positive <laughs> that I really don't think it's that much of an issue. I feel like you're setting yourself free here, Sagittarius. So I definitely like that. Uh, in your first row here, in the second row, I should say you have the Lover's card or the love card. This card just represents love. It's kind of funny because um, I definitely remember you getting that in the daily readings that I do. And uh, the love card is a card of love. So it could be love that's coming into your life here. You also have the queen of cups as your center card, which is the most important card in the nine card spread. But that, that could also represent things that you love. You could be kind of more focused on doing things you love, or things that you enjoy doing. This could be like hobbies, it could be your business, it could be whatever it is that you love doing. I feel like you could be spending a lot more time doing it. Uh, in this row here, you have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Cups again, and the Nine of Pentacles. This is like a lot of reasons to be happy is what I feel like saying with this middle row. So I feel like you are going to have a lot more reasons to be happy in the near future. Maybe these reasons aren't so obvious yet. And uh, again, we're gonna pull an outcome row over here at the end, but I do feel like some of you are going to have a lot of reasons to be happy. I feel like there's just more joy and happiness in your life. For some of you with this seven of wands, I feel like you're just committed to defending yourself from devil toxic like energy. And I also feel like you could just be avoiding uh, negative situations now. It's like you're focusing on the positive. So you're just going to get more positive stuff with this middle row. Uh, for others, I'm getting something about a purchase as well with this nine of diamonds. You also have the 10 of diamonds here as well. I feel like some of you could be purchasing something expensive like a home or, you know, a car, you know, it could be anything uh, else that you, you know, want to purchase. So I, I'm getting a purchase here. I feel like it would be a good purchase. So if you're thinking about making a purchase, I do feel like it would be a good purchase. Uh, next, you have the time for a nap card. Like I said, I feel like some of you need a break or you just need time for yourself with this card. In this row here, you have the devil, the hangman, and the not 10 of diamonds. So I feel like there is a lot of success coming in for you here, Sagittarius, even with that devil card. The devil card to me can just represent hard work. So I feel like some of you could be finally getting paid for hard work, or you could be finally getting seeing rewards for hard work that you have done with that 10 of diamonds. So I definitely, uh, definitely, definitely like to see that. Uh, for others, I feel like you are just avoiding toxic energy with the devil. I feel like you're avoiding things that have maybe held you back or maybe you're avoiding things that have caused problems in your life. The hangman is kind of like a card of delays, but it's also a card of enlightenment. And this almost looks like a blessing in disguise to me here, Sagittarius, to me, because you have the 10 of pentacles here, which is like great success, abundance, like good things coming in for you, but it, you have the devil and hangman. 
So it's like, you know, things have been stuck for a long time. I feel, but the reason I say it's a blessing in disguise is because the hangman could be you realizing like why you had to deal with something that was toxic. You could be realizing why you had to work so hard to get this right here. So, you know, again, to me, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but let's clarify this Sagittarius and uh, let's see what comes up. Between the Justice card and the Seven of Wands, you have the Star card here. Love it. Amazing. The Star card is a card of a turnaround. This card represents obstacles being removed from your life. How funny is it? At the beginning of the reading, I said it's almost like you're stepping out of the forest. Like, I feel like you're kind of like stepping into a clearing is the feeling I was getting here. That Star card is a card of a turnaround and it's a card of obstacles being removed. It's kind of like saying now is the time to try something that you've wanted again because it will probably work out better. It's an amazing card. Definitely very good for you. It's a card of hope and renewal, kind of like the star and the tarot as well. Uh, next, between the strength card and the queen of cups, you have the rider. Love it even more. This is the nine of hearts in the playing card reading system. That card can represent a wish or you receiving a wish in your life. It could also represent receiving good news as well. And this queen of cups, again, is your center card. This is a very important card. That queen of cups represents feeling like safe, secure, comfortable, protected, nurtured, cared for, like all those things. So really, definitely a really nice week. Like I said, I feel, feel like you are just happy with this middle row. Uh, next, between the... Um, Seven of Swords here, and or the Eight of Swords and this Nine of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Hearts. This is called the Stork in the playing card uh, in the Lenormand card reading system. This card can represent again uh, pretty much what the Queen of Cups represents. So it can represent very kind, caring, nurturing energy. It's kind of like the card of the mother as well. So some of you could be having children if you are wanting to have children. Again, that's not going to be true for all of you, uh, but it can also just represent like the birth of something new in your life or a much more kind, caring, nurturing energy around you. Next, between the nine, the seven of wands here and the devil, you have the queen of wands uh, or the queen of clubs. This is called the snake in the Lenormand card reading system. Definitely can represent like a tricky person or uh, someone who isn't just a, a good person. So I would be careful of tricky people with that snake card. I would avoid any like toxic people as well. You know, I, 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 the seven of wands, is also a card of like defensiveness, but it's a card that says you should defend yourself. So I would defend yourself there. Uh, next between the Queen of Cups and the Hangman, you have the Crossroads, love it. This is picking a new path. The Crossroads is the Queen of Diamonds in the playing card reading system. It literally just represents um, picking a new path in your life. It says you're at a crossroads, you're gonna pick a new path. Hangman, remember what I said about the Hangman? Like I felt like you were being enlightened as to why you had to go through a situation. So I feel like this is bringing in a lot of clarity and I, I'm also getting the word closure as well, Sagittarius, which is weird. So I feel like some of you could be receiving closure here as well. And uh, finally here, you between the Nine of Diamonds and the Ten of Pentacles, what did I say? You have the house here, Sagittarius, the house king of hearts literally i said that you could be purchasing a house so i feel like some of you out there could be purchasing a house the king of hearts also represents the feelings of a home just represents safety security comfort protection so i feel like you're you are feeling really good this week obviously there could be a lot of success coming in for you with that ten of pentacles as well so this is definitely a very very good week for you uh, to clarify this top row here, you have the uh, tower. This card is not like the tower in the tarot, but the tower can represent authority. So I feel like for some of you, again, in this top row, it looks like there's gonna be a turnaround, but you could be dealing with some like authorities or some authority figures. This could be where this toxic energy is coming in. Again, I wouldn't really worry about it because that six of, um, six of hearts here. And you also have the justice card. So I feel like there will be justice. Um, it's also, it's not a bad card. Um, you know, it can represent kind of like isolation and things like that, but it's also a card of you, um, like kind of becoming an authority. So uh, it can be a pretty good card. It, to me, it can also represent guidance. It's like, you know, it's kind of like a pillar. It's, it's kind of like something like a beacon standing out. So I feel like some of you are receiving guidance this week. That's definitely popping into my head with this card as well. Uh, in this middle row here, you have the anchor. The anchor is the nine of spades in the playing card reading system. The anchor can represent being stuck in a location, but with this queen of diamonds here, it can represent you anchoring yourself to something new. So I feel like for a lot of you, it's like maybe you're uh, committing to a new relationship. Maybe you're committing to a new job, new business, pretty much anything. So uh, definitely very good for you. And finally, with this last row, love it. You have the dog. This card is the 10 of hearts in the playing card reading system. And the dog represents loyalty or someone who is loyal to you. So for a lot of you, this could be you gaining loyalty and love or finding someone who's loyal to you in love or in any other area of your life. 
It's also a card of fortune after difficulty. So definitely a fortune after difficulty situation here, Sagittarius. But I actually, I really love this reading. I feel like there's going to be a lot of reasons for you to be happy, like I said, and I feel like there's a lot of improvements. So thank you for watching Sagittarius and enjoy your week.